down the main straight here, heading up towards the corner, turn one, the mountain straight, this is Bauer and Stephen Richards. Oh, it's on the ground because that means a couple of things. Holy moly. Safety car for one, you'd expect, Billy. Yep. And the other is a very cranky Aussie male team. He is well and truly stuck there. You can see him gesturing to the rescue crew. Come on, get me out, get me out. And that's going to be a full course yellow. Oh, this adds an entirely different scope to this race. Well, it was just settling down to some sort of finishing pattern. And all of a sudden, this is going to compress that field. Murphy. Scafe on his bumper. Let's have a look at the Strathfield replay, Neil. Well, Richo was screaming on the radio just prior to this. He'd lost his patience and he gets, oh, I don't know, he gets up the inside. You can see it from both sides. Obviously, one half are going to say one thing and one half the other. The stewards will look closely. That's the angle, actually. I'd like to see that slower to see how far up the side Richo got. And these two will obviously blew about it. And neither party's going to be happy. Here's another angle again. We've got lots of angles of this. Early on, it looks OK, but was he far enough up the inside at the critical point? It's safe to say that Stephen Richards is well and truly off John Bow's Christmas card list. Their Bathurst bingle also created plenty of tension in pit lane as the co-drivers took to the microphones. Brad, you've had a chance to look at it. Can you give us your, you know, objective opinion on it? <laughs> it's not that easy to be objective, you know. Look, you've got to be up to the B-pillar and he wasn't up to the back door. What can I say? I mean, racing's racing, but really, at the end of the race, it's pretty disheartening when something like this happens and the wrong bloke's in the sand, you know. Stevie's out there doing the best he can. They're having a good dice. You know, stuff happens. You put your head in your hands there before. Just describe how you feel right now. Sick. <laughs> I mean, you know, you work all day and we got back up to fifth and it was a good result. All things considered. So, you know, we were not going to be on the podium anyway unless a miracle happened. But to come this far and get within 10 laps to the end and then go in the sand and, you know, drop the lap or two, you know, it's pretty hard to take. But, you know, that's the way it is. Hard luck, bro. Thanks, Larry, you've seen the replay over and over. What's your take? Oh, it's pretty clear. Uh, Richo's been blocked for at least 10 laps and he's been on the radio to us complaining bitterly what can we do to get Bow to play the racing game, not the blocking game. He got well down, you know, well past the A-pillar and all Bow had to do was give him room, but uh, uh, obviously Bow didn't want to do that and he's come off second best and I imagine he's crying now. Well, I think he deserved the, you know, he brought it on himself. I guess uh, there's been no communications from uh, race control to you guys? No, no, and there shouldn't be. Uh, uh, you know, you're, you're allowed to get down to the A pillar. He was well past A pillar. Bow knew he was there. All Bow had to do was not turn in front of him and give him room. Now, not much to ask for a guy, uh, you know, especially of his experience, but he didn't want to do that, and uh, he came off second best. Thanks, Larry. We've, we've just relayed some of that information to Brad. What do you think about what Larry had to say? Well, you know, I appreciate that this is Larry's last time at the event. He's been a fantastic ambassador for the sport and he's done really well. But when he was wobbling around in front of Lowndes and myself and Radicic and a whole heap of guys, two seconds slower than us, not one. Not one of us punted him off the road. He may think that JB got his just desserts, but they're racing hard. There's rules and we all abide by them. And the rules are you don't run into people. So while Larry might think that that's okay and we got what we deserve, it's not like that at all. When he was wobbling around, we didn't hit him. It's just not fair.